you're going to want to hang on tight because on this episode, we're headed to the southern part of New Jersey and we're going to be looking at Heritage Links Golf Club. Now, this is a nine hole golf course, but it packs an absolute punch. We got some LIDAR here that we're able to show, but most importantly, we got the whole course. We're gonna walk through it all. And this is a gem of a golf course, no, no, no doubt. So when you pull right up, the signs are so it's really not that hard to find. The clubhouse is a, kind of a trailer, kind of a construction ch trailer. Uh, if you walk right inside, it's pretty small, packs a punch. But for the most part, you go right on to number one. Um, just to kind of start you off, the price is right here for the 2022 golf fee season. To walk nine holes is only $25. Now, if you want to ride nine holes, you're looking at $35 total. Seniors do save $5 every day. And an electric cart fee is that $10. So there's that difference in 10 uh, you know, juniors pay $20 for nine holes, so that's pretty reasonable. And then all replays, if you want to play a full 18s, another 10. So really, you're looking about 35 to walk 18 holes there. And club rentals is a staggering $20 there, which is almost the cost of the round. It's listed that tee times are required, but um, if you're playing... I, I, you know, if you got four people, I would definitely call and get a tee time ahead. We booked a little bit ahead. They did seem pretty busy. Uh, but for the most part, we were able to get out there almost immediately. These were some of the funnest holes here is a little par three. They're mostly all just par threes. Let's get real. Miniature hole here with the water. Uh, only a 100-yard shot, 99 to 100-yard shot. It is considered the signature hole. Uh, Well-placed iron over the water, and the bunker is required. So it is a pretty steep bunker there on that par three, um, and that's from the green area view. This was by far the signature hole on this course. Hands down, this was... The nicest hole on the course the greens were we had to put them pretty hard but for the most part another long par three here very well elevated look at all these tee boxes just dropping it right down um only about 140 yard shots so not too far but there is water if you could see on the right hand side of this hole so there was some water you're not that far from the bay you can feel the wind it is a link style course even though there's a lot of trees it was saturated that day. A lot of water on the course from storms prior, so just keep that in mind if you see uh, a couple patches here and there. The next hole is hole five, which is a par three. It plays about 125 to 150. Um, so countless hours reshaping these greens, apparently, and it is rewarding, as you can see. There's a bunker right before that green. This is a pretty big green here to work off of. The, the rough is a funneled type rough so most of the shots are going to back off the green and probably land on the surface here as you can see and the pin placement on here is interesting this is the next hole a long par four here the second par four of the course and it plays at 330 yards uh it's slightly uphill but with a blind shot or a blind drive on top of the fairway you want to aim for the barber pit pole right there um, and the sunken green will play a factor for most of the shots. And this is all being pulled from the website. That's what we're reading from. Um, they do a nice job of kind of indicating each hole and has a little paragraph for each one of those. This was a great hole here. Um, definitely played a little bit further. But you can find yourself on these type of holes with people all over the place. Sometimes you, you hit a ball and there's someone on your fairway. Uh, nice soft iron shot on this par four. The beginner's course, it really is a par three course. It's got a couple par fours. For the most part, I would say $25 is very reasonable to come out and play this golf course. This is number seven. It plays about 130 to about 160. It's pretty much straightforward. It's a little deceiving because you feel like you're going to hit that shed straight ahead, but that shed's still about 200 yards maybe. Um, another par three. Big green here, but you can see very patchy. This was the longest hole on the course. This was number eight. Uh, number eight plays almost slightly under 400 yards, but it's very interesting. It ends in a cemetery. Uh, and we'll just show that in a second. And you're going to be looking at least 150 yards carried a pond on the left-hand side. Um, you got the hole on the other right, so you definitely don't want to spray that ball right. But if you see right up on here, I ended up going right. I had to go over the trees and over a cemetery, as you can see. A cemetery of the Corson family on the right hand side hints the heritage links and then all of a sudden my head exploded that makes a lot of sense here never played a golf course where there is a cemetery on the course do you play it from there there was no notes it didn't say you can't play it from there um, 
obviously my ball's on the green right there, so we're pretty much good. This was number nine. After that last hole, it's hard to even think about which way is up on this golf course, but number nine ends with the soft par three bunker right there. And you don't want to put in that bunker, which we did got it out. And then just the greens, just to show they do put true. Um, you got to put it out there, but look at the slope on this last hole, just dropping down to the left hand side. And that really is going to do it for our list. We didn't want to play another one, but it's $10 more to play. They got nice signs throughout the course. Thank you for coming out and playing. We always like that. Brings you right back to the clubhouse, which is nice. Very walkable course. Get out there, get into this course and try to play some holes. A uh, couple outtakes of the day, just trying to get some footage, of course, and we have some you know, probably go fly. Away. That's going to do it for our video. Uh, Super control Bowl is Houston. We are uh, going for all the golf courses around the world. This is World Trial Golf. <laughs>